Hello everyone, today we will discussing about how you can build a recommendation system using Langchain and LLMs. So let's get started. So we will using the React framework that has quite recently which helps you to connect external databases or CSV files or anything else to LLMs and eventually we will be using Langchain for this. So let's get started. So the data set that we would be using would be a user item, interaction data set that does not have any meta information about the user and item it just has an interaction information. So it would be more like collaborative filtering sort of a thing that we will be building out. So let's get started. So first of all, I would be preparing a dummy data set which should be having three columns which would have two columns. One is user and the other is item with which the user has interacted. So this is the code that I'm using to generate the dummy data set. I'm skipping this part because if you are working on a real world problem, you must be having the data set with you. But if you don't, then you can follow this particular code snippet. So with this particular code snippet, as you can see, I'm generating 2000 users with 40 unique items and then eventually doing random pairing between them. And the final data set we would be using looks something like this. The user ID, item ID, as you can see that this is the user ID. This is the item ID with which it has interacted now. The next part we need to do that is we would be aggregating all the item IDs the user has interacted in one hot and code sort of way. So here you can see that this is the final output that we wish to generate. So, so eventually you can see that the item ID with which it has interacted, we are putting a value there. So. This is we are doing because eventually when we would be using the React framework, we would be using a vector database called as Chroma. In case of Chroma, when you are trying to figure out similar users, we would be using these embeddings only to figure out which user IDs are similar in terms of item interactions. And eventually we'll be suggesting items from those similar users only so that is how we are reformatting the data set. I'm using this particular code snippet where I'm grouping over the user ID and then aggregating the item IDs as list now. Eventually using this particular code snippet logic where I'm putting a zero in the ID is not present with the user else I'm putting the ID itself in range of in range 30. Range 30 means the total number of unique items that we have. So this is how I'm converting this particular data frame into this particular format. So given a user, all the item IDs it has interacted with and a zero for all the item ID that has not interacted with so the length of each of the list of item id column would be equal to total number of unique elements items present in the data set so it would be 30 here where some of the values would be zero and rest of the values would be the number the items with which the user has interacted now once we are done with this we will be saving this data set as dummy data dot csv and eventually rest of the steps remains quite similar to what we have discussed in csv file analysis where we will be creating a rag framework and connecting this csv file with llm so let's get started i am installing langchain openai go here installing langchain and then open AI and uh, chroma db then we are importing a few required functions the most important one is 
वन बिंग रिट्रीवल की हुए बिकॉज दिस द चेन दैट वी वुड बी यूजिंग फॉर इंट्रैक्ट वुड बी डॉक्यूमेंट लोडर बिकॉज वी आर लोडिंग अ टेक्स्ट फाइल इफ इट इज अ टेक्स्ट फाइल you can see a text loader so next we will be pre processing the data that we have loaded using the text splitter eventually we will be generating embeddings using open ai embedding and here we be providing the api key once you have got the embedding function also uh, the lm function we will be converting the text that we have loaded using the loader into embeddings using the open ai embedding function that here you can see chroma db from documents text chroma embedding so text is a pre processed text and embedding is the embedding function open ai embedding function and then we will be calling the retrieval qa chain where we would be passing the llm the chain type and the retriever b db which is the chroma object so once you done with that we will be giving it a particular prompt so do remember that the performance of your recommendation system depends upon three major things one is the llm that you are choosing other is the similarity logic that your vector database is using and the third one being the prompt that you have passing out so you can see the prompt i am using is so just two articles to user id 78 using given data which it has not seen follow this approach find similar user so just new articles from similar users also give a reason for suggestion so here you you can see the user 78 has not interacted it but it doesn't mean it should be interacted everything there is no logic it is able to follow so eventually the prompt is playing a big role a very big role and you should be try to play around with prompts also in this way you can build a recommendation system using lang chains and llms